Okay, so this is going to be a very quick screencast, I hope, where I talk about the three human circulation loops. And I'm actually going to scroll here to the middle of my page here. And in the middle of this, I'm going to put the human heart. Obviously, the human heart looks nothing like this. But I want you to put this right now in the middle of your entire drawing because it's going to allow us to make the three circulation loops. Now, the thing with the human heart, sorry for the skip there, is that um, it doesn't work without its pal, the lungs. But what's weird, too, in the way I'm going to make this drawing is I'm going to draw the lungs as separate from the, um, the rest of the body. And I know that sounds odd, but I'll just carry through and you'll understand what I'm talking about. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw deoxygenated blood going from the heart. I should make this a little fatter if I can. Hold on, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to do deoxygenated blood going away from the heart, and this will head to the lungs. And I guess I'll make the lungs brown. So here are your lungs, and you should know that actually one of them has three lobes, one of them has two. And when it's in the lungs, it's going to drop off ex it's the CO2, and it's going to grab up the oxygen. And to show that we have oxygen now, we're going to change it to a different color. I'm going to make it red, returning to the heart. And then the heart is going to take all that oxygenated blood, and it's going to bring that oxygenated blood to the body. So this is going to be sort of strange, because we obviously know the heart is inside the body, but the drawing I'm about to make is going to show the human body seemingly outside of the heart. Okay, So the whole body, which includes, most importantly for tonight's assignment, the brain. But it also brings it to the extremities, all the way to your fingertips and toes, etc. And once the cells take up all that oxygen and use it for aerobic cellular respiration, there's no oxygen left, however, they've dumped out from the cells all the CO2, which needs to be gotten rid of, and so then the CO2 returns back to the heart, and the heart then pumps it to the lungs to drop off the CO2 and pick up the oxygen. Seems like it should stop right there, except for the fact that there is a third circulation loop, and this is going to look even more odd, because I'm actually going to draw a circulation loop directly to the heart. Now, it may, in some ways, make sense for me to draw this right around the heart, but in fact, it makes much more sense to draw a tiny little heart out here and understand it's one and the same. We have to make sure that we provide the heart, which is a muscle, with enough oxygen so that it can continue to beat and do the job of moving your blood around your body. So we have oxygenated blood running to the heart itself and deoxygenated blood running back to the heart where it can be pumped into the lungs to be reoxygenated. All right. So let me just label these things up here for you. We have. Uh, I'm going to change this, the thickness here. We have the lungs. We have the body. We have the heart itself. These are the three circulation loops, which have very specific names. So I'm going to use green for the names of these things. This loop up here is called the pulmonary loop. The loop that feeds the heart is called the cardiac loop. Okay, I'll zoom back out so you can see where we are. And finally, the one that feeds the brain and the rest of your body is, whoops, Where's my undo? Is called the systemic loop. And the other thing I should I'll probably add here are arrows. So let me start with the um, the blue arrows. I'm going to do a little finer point here. So the blue arrows carry away from the heart to the lungs. Red arrows, in this case, are going back to the heart. It's the opposite over here. It goes away from the heart to the body. Blue arrows coming back to the heart. 
to be reoxygenated through the pulmonary loop. And then the heart itself is sending, whoops, wrong, sending oxygenated blood to itself. And then once it uses up all that oxygen, then it returns back to the heart slash lungs to be reoxygenated. So the only one that's a little wacky here is the lungs are actually sending the, um, the oxygenated blood back to the heart. In the other systems, deoxygenated blood goes back to the heart. All right. Bye.